There we go. Music, music is done. It's been a bit. It's been a bit. I've had a thing go on in my life. And stuff got put on hold for a little bit. Certain things. Like streaming. Uh, not only Super Mario World thingy central, but my own stuff. Anyway, I found some time to play a game. This is just normal Super Mar- Oh, oh wait, wait, I should, I should <laughs> update that. There we go. There we go. Sure. That's that's completely broken for the name. It doesn't go across the entire thing. That's fine. <laughs> yes. It, it's what. Anyway. Normal, ordinary Super Mario World. Nothing's different, obviously. Uh everything is exactly how you remember it because this game is uh iconic and no one will ever not remake it fully correctly this pipe is very close to the beginning like <laughs> obscenely close um yeah that's all always Always been in the first bush, not the one closest to the pipe. Never, never, never has that uh, mushroom been close to the to the pipe. Never, never has. Uh, ceiling, hundred percent has always, always been here, because you know you've you've never had room to jump like this. Never had room to jump like that. It's a little known fact. That that has uh, always been like that. Uh, also, uh, these these uh, blocks is was never a little green pipe. Uh, it was always these blocks, and in a way that you could stand on them. Also, a little known fact about Super Mario World uh, that is completely normal and and uh, relevant to everything. Uh, second mushroom. That's yep. Always always been there. If uh, you don't think it's been there, um, you're mistaken. Because <laughs> what is what is this music? This this music's not. Is it from memory or did? It, it's a little extra. It's a little extra. There was a there's there's a bit added <laughs> to the music. I mean the music's yeah a okay music is fine perfect always rem exactly how I remembered it hundred percent the same yellow switch palace you know you you can't really do the yellow switch palace wrong um I'm fairly certain that um the cement blocks are a little shorter or maybe moved um yeah who knows who knows nah it's always been that way Ooh, ooh! look look the invisible block Ooh, go for a yump now i missed it i'm really bad at yumping i'm better at yumping off of p switches than i am the switch palace and I know it's like the same frame, but I think it's because the Switch Palace is like two blocks wide instead of one block wide. Um, it just throws off my own like internal timing for it. I think that's just like my issue. Not the game, just how I like view things. Anyway, let's get a one up. That's always how this is has been. Hooray! My name is Yoshi. I am friend. Mm, yes, Yoshi the dino friend. Eat all the berries. And get a one up. Holy. You know what? I can't I can't jump on him. 
I can't jump on the moles. I was sitting there. I'm like, I I should get rid of them and get them out of the way. I can't do it. I can't do that to little friends. Huh. Uh, well, okay. That has never been on the inside. Actually, what am I saying? This is 100% uh, always how the game has been. Always. Spot on. Perfect. Not, not a problem. Never, never been wrong here. Uh, where's the one up? There's the one up. Yep. I missed it. He is your friend. Like I, I can't do him. I can't do him dirty. I, I cannot. I, I cannot sit there and with good, like, conscious, step on Molly. See, because I was nice to Molly, I got a fifty. Just saying, I was nice to Molly. I got a fifty. There, there's correlation there. There's, there is indeed correlation. It pays to be nice. This this music is a tad a tad different. A little a little different from what I remember. I'm I'm sure it's you know completely legitimate and in every way correct. I just don't remember it quite so. Uh, Quite so. Yeah, I just don't. I don't remember it quite so. Anyway, that that's always where uh, the fire flower was. Yep, second Yoshi. Uh, yep, hundred percent. Always been there. You, if you don't think he's been there, uh, you're sadly mistaken. Where is? Pipe. <laughs> where's where's the pipe? I want to know where the pipe is, but I also don't want to like randomly jump for it. Huh? Where where did the pipe go? Who knows? We'll find out at a later date. Probably not, because I'll never revisit this level. <laughs> anyway, let's keep moving on. Ooh, a feather. Always been here. Uh, definitely never had to wait until Donut Plains uh, to get the feather. It just... Uh, Super Mario World is so difficult that people generally never made it to that uh, question box with a power-up. So, you know, no one no one really ever knew about the, about the early feather. But it's there. Always has been. If you if you think it wasn't, uh yeah. Oh. Always has been. Star. <laughs> where's where's my star? I want my star. It was here. I know it was. Level seems a a bit shorter. Just a little, just a tad. Itty bitty. A little bit shorter. Than I remember, not by not by much, but you know I haven't I haven't actually played this game in years. I haven't like touched Super Mario World, just normal original classic, uh, vanilla game for a long time. Uh, I I always remember this part of the bonus game, um. Very like this is this is a little Yoshi filter right here. Um, but if you're fast enough, you can you can get back on Yoshi. So uh, just just remember that that that's a little like Yoshi filter. Uh, they didn't want to make the bonus game too easy and like let you get Yoshi or keep Yoshi like all the time. So so you have to jump off of him and make sure that you, you jump back on him. Right? Yeah. That's that's just that's how that's normal. That's that's normal um everyday uh Mario World. Definitely not strange. I dropped the P switch. Up. 
Yep. Definitely 100% legitimate here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Definitely not. This is perfect in every way, shape, and form. Uh, that, that graphical glitch, that's just a, a limitation of the Super Nintendo. It, it's these smashers are just a little um, intense on the hardware. Uh, they they take up so much resources that they kind of glitch in for a second prior to the, to the level really loading. So there's there's that. And then like good old good old Igo here, um, he just he just flies into the lava. He he enjoys lava. Enjoys the lava bath. Let's see. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa of Castle One and rescued one of the Yoshi of Yoshi's friends who is still trapped in an egg. In a egg. Now he sets out into the vast donut plains. Yoshi's friend is trapped in a egg. Gotta save him. Gotta save Yoshi's friend who is trapped in a egg. Yes, we better better let his friend out, or else he will always be trapped in a egg. That's not where that dragon was. Actually, no, that's always hundred percent where it's been. I every time I'm like, hmm, I don't remember that. It's because I just I don't I don't actually like remember. That's just that's just me, you know. Just I'm not great at remembering um, these things. Uh, also, yeah, never, never been able to take Yoshi up here. Never, never have been. That's just how it's always been. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I mean, that one's normal. That's a normal, it's just a tiny little typo. A tiny itty bitty little typo. Uh, probably from, um, translation. Just re regional translation. You know, you've never come out of a pipe ever. Also, this corner has always been uh, just you can't pass through it. Always been that way. And you've never had a fifth level. Never, never had a fifth level to uh, bonus game there. Always just four. Always just four. They didn't want to make it too easy on you. Didn't want to make it too easy. But... You know, they, they, they had to give you, they had to give you a little, they gave you a little bit, but, but not, not anything too, too crazy and, uh, out there. Anyway, that's me a one up. Could have the last dragon queen somewhere around here. I don't know where it is. I don't remember. I rarely collect projects. I rarely click drug. Rarely, if ever. Anyway, where can I can I get a can I get a, a, a friendly friendly cape? No. Uh, why would I get a cape? That's not how the game is played. Never get an early cape. There's the last dragon coin. It's always been there. Always, forever. Yeah. See, there's there's like. There's nothing here. There's nothing wrong here. Never ever. Let's go to Smasher Cave. A party! Thank you for the raid, my friend. We are we are playing some uh Super Mario World, 100% uh, legitimate, the original game. Uh, nothing is remade from memory here. It is it is a uh, uh, friendly, just nice game. And nothing, nothing is out of the ordinary. Uh, if you see anything that is uh, strange, you don't remember uh, yourself, uh, probably, just, probably just misremembering 
because this game is just old and most people haven't played it for years. You know, who who is speeds speed runs Super Mario World? No one. No one no one speed runs Super Mario World ever. Just just ever. Not a thing that happens. Anyway, we will we will just keep going. Attempt to collect dragon coins, even though they are very pointless. Um Pipe. Huh. I'm gonna have to remember. Uh really, really think about and remember which pipe I'm supposed to go in for the secret exit. Uh could have sworn it was like one of the last pipes. But I think I'm just I think I'm just mistaken there. I just don't remember quite right. I'm not quite sure how I did that though. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I uh how I smushed myself uh against the wall. But <laughs> that is not, there's no jank. Super Mario World has never had jank in it. 100% legitimate game with uh, perfect coding all the way through. Never had jank. Never had weird oddities like that, ever. That's just, that never happened. That never happened. Is the perfect game. Perfect in every way. Every shape and form. Goodbye, Buzzy Beetle. <laughs> I like I like just putting the Buzzy Beetles um, on the cheese and just letting them go up. Oh yes, uh, the second pipe. Always, always been the secret exit. Yep, I, I remember now. Yep, that is always been there uh, forever. I've never been kind of a weird placement for the pipe and there we go we got we got the green switch just next door just just next door um can i get one up yes i can this has always been the the switch palace Yep, that block is there. Can I yump? No, I cannot. I'm really, really bad. <laughs> I'm really bad at yumping. Something I really like. It's not. I mean, it's a skill. It, it is a skill. It is a skill to be able to yump. I'm not great at doing it. I try. I try pretty much like every time I can. Uh, but, you know, just sometimes, sometimes it just, uh, isn't meant to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm still better with, like, normal P-switches than the Switch Palace. I don't know why. Maybe it's the fact it's, like, a true sprite instead of, like, a sprite and blocks. Maybe? I don't know. I can just, like... Yes. No, oh, Buzzy Beetle, you were supposed to go on vacation. Yes. Yes. Go on vacation. Go to the moon. God dang it, Buzzy Beetle. You wanted to go to the moon. You're supposed to stay there. Stay and be happy. I was trying to give you a free trip. Either that or that Buzzy Beetle paid like $5 million to take him and his friends up to one of the two. That Buzzy Beetle was a millionaire. He uh, jumped in on Bitcoin at the beginning stages of the evolution of it. He owns at least five NFTs. That is that is what the Buzzy Beetle does. And he, he even ignored going to space. He was like, ah, nah, space is overrated. Space is overrated. Just, just leave. Hmm. Hmm. This doesn't seem quite right. Okay, it's not good. <laughs> it is. It is way too short. 
Ah, uh, I like this one. I like, I like that cheese block mm, far better than what I remember. Far better than what I remember of the cheese blocks. And you know, there weren't multiple pipes there with um, spike tops. Never, never exist. Never, never happened. Like that. Always just one pipe goes to the end. You didn't have to jump over a few, dodge some spike tops. No, never happened. Well, we can go back. We can go back and get the uh, secret exit now. Because I have a proper cape. Eee. Let's go. Let's find... Oh, but I did not... No, God dang it. Mario. Uh, blaming the Italian plumber for all my bad habits of playing. and Not actually... Damn it. I play good, I swear. That is something I do. Because I can't. Actually, you know what? I can run up the little thing. Whatever. I don't need to do it. I can just do this. And into the gigantic lake, which has always been gigantic. And there is Lefige. He is sleeping. We will not bother Levish. We will let him enjoy his nap. Probably has like 12 kids at home and is like, mm, this is the first time I've slept in days. Gotta, gotta be nice. Gotta be nice to Levish. He is, he is a, he is a tired boy. He's just, just a little friend. Anyway, let's go up here. Let's, let's see if I can make it all the way to the top. Of this area, there should be another pea balloon here. And this seems barely the same. There's no, there's no block there. Uh, yes, that is uh what the gimmick of this hack is. Is um, it was just remade. Uh, from memory, they didn't really look at the original game, the original level, um, and had to recreate it from what they remember. And it's not just levels, it is music, it is pretty much everything. Everything in the game, um, except for, like, the graphics. So, yeah, it, it's a whole, it's a whole bunch of stuff. So you'll you'll notice that the music is a little off from time to time, but it's it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, no, some levels are are far far more faithful. Um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, uh, the later levels are going to be uh more kind of spread out from what the original is. I'm guessing um, you'll see more kind of mistakes in the later levels um, because, like, who who really plays through the entirety of Super Mario World? Usually, you get to what Donut Ghost House, um, get to the Star Road, and then skip to Bowser, like the 13 exits or whatever uh, it is, or like the basic run so those those like 13 exits whatever levels those are attached to are probably going to be the most accurate um i do see quite a bit that is just slightly off in this level not a whole lot but yes 96 where i ever were were uh, banned. No, we don't want. We don't want full playthroughs here. We only want like 13 exits. Oh, we want. Uh, boo ceiling. Need to get through you guys. Up here. There we go. And let's go down this side. Hey, at least the uh, one up. I I don't know if they. 
are using SA1 on this or not? I think it was too. I think it was a little bit higher. Also, the uh, ceiling of the ghost house that you're running over was slightly higher in the original as well. Top secret area. Let's see. Is this... It's it's wider than I remember. Also, the feathers are, I think, on the wrong side. Pretty sure the feathers were on the right and the fire flowers were the left. <laughs> the blocks are wider. Anyway. That's fine. That's normal. It's normal. Nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong in this level. Anything that uh, you think is wrong is not wrong and just a figment of uh, bad memories. All it is. That is, that is all I'm going to, going to claim from it over and over and over. Um... I'm kind of afraid that the exit is not gonna be in the same location. No, it is, okay. I'm like, I know how the original game played. I wasn't sure if uh, the exit was gonna be in the uh, same spot. But it was. Anyway, let's get, can I get one? Yes. <laughs> Look at the boy. Look at the man in the floor. It's perfect. This is this is the Yoshi Yoshi gate. Uh, if you're on Yoshi, you can't collect the uh, one up unless you jump off of him. It's uh, how the original game made it a little bit harder. Made the bonus game just just a little bit harder. So you didn't always weren't guaranteed to have Yoshi after you. Just how it works. Anyway, let's go. Let's go to the secret house down here. Two stairs. That's a little bit wider. Big boo here. Uh, can I? Eh, there. I got him. It's very odd. It's very odd going into a level and you're like, this is kind of right. You're like, this is, this is sort of, this is sort of correct. Now wait. Did they make it a piece switch door? I don't think it was originally a piece. Maybe it was. And like, again, I'm just, I'm just misremembering things. I'm looking at this and going, oh, wait, no, that's not how that went. It was. I don't know. Oh, the music. I love, I love the music. The fact is, like, mostly the same, but just, just slightly different. <laughs> it's so good. I still wonder if, like, certain parts when people just didn't remember quite how the music went, if they just kind of threw in some, like, their own little take on it. They're like, ah, this is, this is probably good enough. <laughs> you know? Like, oh, yeah, this is, this is good, good enough. That's, that's all we strive for. Good enough. Big Boo! Yeah, no, no. Ironically, there are uh, no blatant level edits in uh, this hack. That is, that is a fact, actually. Which is really, really quite funny. Okay. This, let's go in... That's not the door we want. Is it? It's not. Yeah. Oh, where is... Did they put it here? 
Where did they put that? I just realized that the door, um, which should be surrounded by coins right there, is uh, not there. Frick. Yeah, they did. They put it right there. Like, that was... It was pretty easy to tell where the door was going to be. <laughs> but as soon as I hit the box, the P-switch, I'm like, wait, there is no spot with coins surrounding the door uh, to, to go, go in. I got to gotta find that. Got to find that door. Meow. Uh, let's see. That is that first thing is a uh, coin, whatever. Well, that's how it was in the original. It was a coin snake. Yeah. W where's my star? I want. I want my star. Where is it? Man, is this a, the second level they that should have a star that they didn't put a star in? Man, I like getting the star in this level and, like, just running through it. And... Ow! Freaking... Yeah! You! The man! The jerk! Who throws his children at you. He's a bad parent. Awful parent. Just eats his children at you. That should be a star too, not a star. I mean, I will, I will take it. I will take it. That's not where the normal star was. That is a coin unless you get to it with a star. Star two. Why do I remember this game so, so well? Probably because I just, I play through it so frequently in some manner. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Don't have a cape no more. I lost it to ghosts. Richard! Jump over the turtle. And an... an I didn't actually mean that. I didn't I didn't mean to go back into that pipe. It just sort of happened. Richard, I'm invulnerable to you. I'm riding a Yoshi. Take that, Richard. Ah, uh, the re they don't know how to cope with the Yoshi. They're like, ah, do we hurt him? Do we not hurt him? Is he your friend? Is he in, is he like us? You know, I really wonder out of like all the all the characters in Super Mario World, right? Or the Mario universe. So you have like the people obviously working or the the creatures the, the species, whatever you want to call them. The guy's actually working with Bowser. So you have the Goombas, you have the Goloombas, you have uh, the span of Koopas, which is like Koopas, Hammer Bros, uh, Lakitus. Technically, Chuck is a Koopa um, in, like, definition. Uh, you have Magic Koopa, you know, you have all those. But then you have, like, the Fuzzies, the Richards, like... Are they working with Bowser or are do they just exist? Are they just there? And it just like so happens that it's like, oh hey, these guys would make like a good like force against Mario. And but Bowser doesn't actually control them. They just they're just there. Right? Right? They're just they're just there. That's a lot of Goombas. That is a lot less blocks than I remember. That is the pipe that I'm pretty sure I could get into. Yeah, you know what? Richard probably is. Like, he's just he's just there. He's just having a good time. And like, he doesn't care. He's just he just exists. Anyway. 
I can fly. I have a blue shell. I was trying to hit the tape, but I missed. Oh, well. Richard is such a good, good character. I still, I still like that giant Richard I made. Uh, I still like, I want to go back to it and make his like coat lumpy to make it look like it's just a trench coat full of, uh, full of fuzzies. That's what I want to do. Rick, I want the shortcut. God dang you. Anyway. Oh, stairs. Why you, why you do this to me? Oh, I hate the stairs. They do not act like normal slopes. Yeah, that's normal. You've always been able to go to. Yeah. Always, 100%. Just, that's just a thing that you could do. There's the dry bones. I remember him. Dude, <laughs> it's so squeaky. Oh, uh, good old squeaky. It's like a whole, like, pitch off from what it should be. It's great. Why, why is that, like, drum beat so fast? Oh, man. That drum beat is... So fast. The guy is just, whoever's playing the music is just sitting there like, he's bored. He's bored and just like beating that drum, just hitting it so, so aggressively. <laughs> I don't remember that, Spike. Hmm. Is there, is there anything? Like, no, it's just big giant. Big giant tower. Anyway, here is uh weapon. Roy has glasses, right? That's right. Roy has smashers. Yeah, Roy Roy has smashers. Morton. Morton is the first one. Roy has smashers, that's right. Yeah. That's how that's how I remember him apart. And uh, Mario has triumphed over Morton of Castle 2. The journey is starting to become more dangerous. Next, Mario ventures into the Vanilla Dome. That is not the original text. And I don't know what is wrong with it besides the, the journey is starting to become more dangerous. Like, that line is not right. That has never been there. Um, we are playing uh, Super Mario World Remade from Memory. So pretty much the concept behind this hack is uh, the group that worked on it uh, each picked a level. They didn't look at what the level was and they just kind of remade it from what they remember it being. Um, did the same thing with music. They remade the music, remade the overworld. Uh, the only thing that they really didn't touch were the graphics of the game so it's mario world uh, but not quite <laughs> it's it's a bit it's a tad off it's a tad off from from what you'd probably remember it being up, up. just do that good job yoshi i don't want you to eat the shell because i do want to use the shell to get up here Get this. There we go. Perfect. Why is the music so slow? It's like it's so close, but it's too slow. I'm really like honestly, I'm really enjoying the the small little differences that exist 
Like, you know they're they're wrong, but you're not quite sure like exactly why they're wrong. But I am. I'm I'm really enjoying these like really subtle difference between the normal game and uh, this one. Very nice. Do I get a star? Okay. First time. First time stars in proper location. Uh, that is going down way too quickly. Hmm. Normally you have a bit more time there. Also, that is very, very high up. And I don't remember steep slope being so close. Or as tall? Maybe it was as, as tall. Uh, that uh, pit definitely. Either. This one is by far a lot. Like the beginning is is relatively close. It's not right, but it's close. The end of this one though is very different. Still similar, but it's it's Actually, you know what? I should go and do um the Star Road. The one one Star Road level. I should do that. Just do the Star Roads as I get to them. Except for maybe the last one, like Bowser's Star World. Um, I should probably do, like, alone. I did not want that. God dang you, Yoshi. Right. <laughs> Is the key gonna be uh, here? One. I don't actually. Okay, good. <laughs> I was a little worried. Just like just a little worried that the key was not going to be. <laughs> the music. <laughs> it sounds drunk. The music is just drunk. Oh, uh, goddamn. <laughs> I don't want the goddamn mushrooms. Uh, my my inability to not just hit the um Y button when I start the level. Is that is pure my inability not do that. There we go. Yay, a star. That's not the right location, but I will accept it. Also, where's the Yoshi? Should be yellow Yoshi somewhere. Or is it red? You know, I'm not, I'm honestly not that upset. I don't see the Yoshi, but at the same time, I, I kind of want to know where it is. Because it's normally, it'd normally be at the bottom. Huh. Hey, maybe there's no Yoshi down there. Maybe they uh, just put it in. Because, yeah, it's, I want to say it's a yellow Yoshi. It might be a red Yoshi. Um, That's in this level. I never, like, I never took it, because on, really, Super Mario World was really nice with introducing Yoshi. Uh, introducing a variety of Yoshi. So you have, you know, the blue, the yellow, the red, uh, the green. But, unfortunately, they didn't do a great job differentiating them, and... Blue is by far the only, like, decent special color. And I, I don't really know, like, how to feel about that. Because really, I would I would have loved, I would really love to see the other Yoshis having a bigger, like, impact to the game. Like, being able to solve certain, like, maybe puzzles or having them being able to get, like, bonuses of some sort. 
but because you you don't have that you don't get that it's kind of just like the pointing in a way that the yoshis pretty much besides blue kind of just useless it is it's, it's honestly kind of sad um was there any i don't think ah god damn it i don't think there's any uh koopa that would help me get up higher i think i can probably fly yeah i can fly here and that would get me probably up yeah no frick I want to fly with my Yoshi up to the sky. I may have to leave my Yoshi here. Might be something I actually, you know what? I might be able to do this. Not, did not have enough flight speed. I have enough flight speed. Yoshi is just not. Lighting. I know it's possible, at least the vanilla game. I don't know if it's possible in this one, actually. Uh, you know what? Yoshi's are a dime a dozen. Goodbye, horse. Served me well for the past ten years. But you are now being laid to rest. Sending you off to the glue factory. Don't worry, Yoshi. Your hooves will make a nice adhesive. Oh. Well, we got to the Star Road. I can now play the second Star Road level. There is another feather somewhere in this level. I don't remember quite where it is. I would like to know. I would. You enjoy having the flight maquette bridging free. Uh, makes me want to use big boy swears. And I've, <laughs> I've learned uh, over time. I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't care. I don't. But I have not been, like, using big boy words on stream and or uh, recording YouTube shenanigans so long. My brain just kind of, like, flips into fam family-friendly mode. It's like, yep, you just don't say that. Uh, even though I do all the time. <laughs> I have a horrible sailor dialogue off screen. I do. It is it is quite impressive just how um bad it is. Play fish. Let Yoshi eat you lay fish. Play fish. Yum yum yum. Um I'm really missing <laughs> a lot of fish. Uh there we go. I, I mean, I do too. It is really just part of my vocabulary at this point. I I just swear all the time. Just on not on screen, not on camera, whatever you want to call it. It's just like emphasis at this point for me. But, you know, it's a hard, it's, is it a habit you really want to break? I don't know. Like, just not swearing is that a bad habit well oh, it's not a bad habit. It's just, i just find it funny i find it funny that my i've not done it for so long on screen that i just have like an auto filter that just turns on and i have no control over it zero control it just it turns on zero control you will occasionally hear me <laughs> say words very quietly uh, because that is what I do. 
Anyway, let's finish. Let's finish up uh, an old dome here. Things are going, you know what? Things are going good. Things are going good in this game. And, and I'm actually, I'm kind of glad it's not lasting or going on for a really long time. You, my Yoshi, can I find that shell? That shell's bad. That key is not supposed to be there. Um, where? Where can I find? I don't. Is there even like oh, a Koopa shell? I don't honestly think there is. Like I, I vaguely, vaguely remember. No, good. I don't want that pea switch. Not pea switch. Mushroom. I want the mushroom. Ah, uh, I'm gonna lose my blue. Yo Whatever. <laughs> don't care. Zero care in the world. Anyway, what I was saying is, so the last game I played on stream was Super Mario World uh, 30. 30th edition, 30, yeah, 30th edition, I don't know, 30th edition, um, very good game, very good hack, uh, it really expanded on, uh, Super Mario World in general, and kind of felt like you were playing a, like, Nintendo remade, uh, port to an extent, and the extent, I would say, um, does not include hard mode for that game. Because the game included a hard mode. And honestly, it was fine for the most part. Fine for the most part. But there were a bunch of issues, and you could tell it wasn't exactly tested too well on hard mode. Um, and I, I even got that from like ladies, man, that it wasn't as well tested, which is fine. And the feedback I had given during those streams and stuff really helped, uh, him kind of iron out some of the stuff for, uh, later like version releases. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to do that. I'm, I'm more than happy to provide that feedback for him. But, with that said, I found the game kind of overstaying its welcome just a little. Um, just, just because it was like, it was a lot, it was a lot to take in. It was a lot to do. Even though it was pretty much still just Super Mario World. With, because I I chose to play in hard mode. With which added a bunch of stuff. You didn't get reserve power ups. You you didn't get like a good portion of the normal mechanics. It just kind of over overstayed itself just a little, and it was my choice. You know I could play normal. I could have uh, gone through it in like a normal pace, normal game, had the the normal experience, and it probably would have been uh more enjoyable in the end i can't say the game wasn't enjoyable. it was very enjoyable it was a very enjoyable uh kind of fan-made tribute to super mario world i don't know how i did not get hurt there or even like stunned out of flight I'm trying to I'm trying to think with uh, Super Mario uh, Anniversary, just how long it actually took me to get past the Nola Dome, because it wasn't one video, <laughs> like, or one one stream. It was uh, very much like multiple streams to get as far as I am now. I think that's like a big difference right now that you can see like a big, very visible difference is the fact that this one is just going so smoothly. Um, and it's just, it's just nice. 
Anyway, an old dumb three. Let's go. I'm probably not going to uh, be able to do like the full two-ish hours I was planning on doing, looking at what time it is. Um, probably half an hour-ish more, I would say. I will be needing to run some errands that uh hoping to have done later but oh no oh oh no uh i have i have made a mistake i have done a foolish thing i have done a foolish thing i need my skull raft <laughs> i thought i could ditch it you could ditch it in the original one because there was like a second school raft. Could not do that. Can't do that. Can't do that in uh, this one. Yeah, and you can't. You can't even go down that pipe. Well, I I will say <laughs> at least I had a cape. In this pipe? No, I cannot go in that pipe. Why would I be able to go in that pipe? Looks like it's enterable. Think I can go in this one? Yeah. That's a thing I can do. Hmm. Bonus game. Brown blocks. All not the not bad. One ups. I wanted more. I don't need more. Excuse me, uh, game. Where where are the pipes that I run up and drop down in between to get the midway point with a Koopa that kicks a shell? Where where are those where are those pipes? Uh, game level creator. That is that is a very important uh, aspect that I remember from this level in particular. <laughs> They were there. I know they were. So this lava bit is far longer. I mean, this th th this part did exist. I think it was like one pipe long. I think it was one pipe long. Blarg. Blarg. I wish, I wish Blarg had full body. I do. Like, it would be nice. It would be, like, really interesting to have like a level or something where like you maybe maybe you can see through the lava um even yeah like uh yoshi yoshi's story blarg but like you could see through the lava and see the blarg like full bodied or like they could jump on land and like walk around or something um a good hack uh, Super Mario World, like, Just Keef Edition. Uh, that one has a full-bodied Blarg, if I remember right. And it, like, it's actually really neat. I, I really like it. Like, how it was designed. Oh, no. This one is the one with the P, the P-boards. I hate them. Hate the P-boards. Awful. Fly over this level. There's the crossfire. Bullets? That's not crossfire. Where are the crossfire bolts? There they are. My not friends. The not friend friendly friends. <laughs> the crossfire bullets. This level is actually fairly... Um, that one was fairly close to the original. Like, really close. If I played the original and then played that one back to back, I would probably be able to say, oh, yeah, this is different. This is different. Um, but just playing it by my like the one level, I don't know if I would be able to really tell you uh, what. Ow, away. Um, where is the P switch? This box. God. I want that box. 
it is not that. One. No, it's just... It just exists. Okay. Hey, get out of my way, you freaking bastard. Ah. Hit him. I hit him so Yo, oh, god damn, Mr. Wizard. You're not even Mr. Wizard. You're fake wizard. At least Mr. Wizard was me. Let's go. Hmm, that is... That is far taller and much further away than I remember. Yeah, I don't remember that. This is... Not the one that was next. I want to say there was power up the. Ah. <laughs> it's very, very. Where's the other elevator? Where's the where's the down portion? You go up and then go down. Things are missing. Things are not right. Was was. No, this wasn't re right? This is still like the vanilla boss. Like now I'm now I'm like questioning him. Like is was that like middle pipe there always raised that high? Like was it always like that? Uh things that you like see and you question yourself about. Sit there, I'm like, hmm. And death to the castle. Lemmy Koopa of Castle 3 has met his ultimate end. Ult his Lemmy. Maybe redo that. Lemmy Koopa of Castle Number 3 has met his ultimately end at the hands of Mario, who now continues his search. Have you found the green and red switches yet? Uh, <laughs> kind of. Uh, just a little. Just a tad. Hurt my brain. I could really reread that and be like, try and figure out what it, what it said. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I don't have to find dragon coins. This level. This level. In 30th edition, 35th edition, whatever, whatever it was. I don't know. I don't remember the name of it. Um, collecting the dragon coins in this level, kind of a pain. Cause they, you got, you got special things for collecting all the dragon coins in that game. Where's the pipe? There's supposed to be a pipe I could jump in. Wings, wings. Things for Yoshi. Are they gonna? I, I'm I'm curious. <laughs> I'm honestly curious if they're gonna put um a Koopa shell or something at the very end. Cause there normally is not. Rick. Yeah, normally there's there's no way to actually like fly Yoshi past. Hmm, I don't like this is implying. I still think coming in here with a Yoshi is going to be the easiest way to get the secret exit. Does not. I'm looking at that gap. I'm like, can I do that? With a cape, I'm sure I could. But it is a lot, a lot further apart than uh, normally. Normally, you just kind of jump under and like jump off Yoshi past the goal. Or you can fly. I'm just not good at, at doing that. I'm not good at like diving just a little and like pulling up so you go upwards good at doing that i have i have done it i would much rather take the easier method though the easier path
Okay. And then jump on this and be safe forever because saw blades cannot hurt me. Because Yoshi is impervious to saw blades because he does not use normal interaction. Little feeties. You know what would be fun? But, like, I'm sure it's not hard. Wouldn't be hard to implement, really. But if um, the Yoshi wings uh, provided you a way to get the secret exit instead of the normal exit, especially for levels like this where, like, the normal vanilla game, it's really hard to get Yoshi across. This one, however, I'm like, yeah, that's going to be super easy. Boing. Goodbye, my faithful steed. You are now to the glue factory yet again. Yeah, no, this this definitely like uh there's oddities. There there's oddities to this to this hack. I I do like the uh the floor mushroom though. I will I will admit that. I do kind of like the floor mushroom. Up. Okay. Uh, let's, you know, let's go down to the star run. Oh, it's this one. I don't know if I would be able to tell you what's that one uh, torpedo Ted that fires halfway off the screen is wrong. Know that for sure. Other than that, I don't know if I'd be able to tell you what's wrong with this level. Like I can I can look at it and go, yeah, certain things are not quite right. But um how I'm playing Ooh, that's not what I meant to. Uh how I'm playing is uh exactly how I would play it in um the normal game. Yeah, no, they are that that is true. Some of them are remembered like with a tougher difficulty than some of the other ones. That is, that is very, very correct. Okay. The next Star World level I can play. Up him. Where's my yellow Yoshi? Where is it? My yellow Yoshi. Egg should be down there. I don't think they put in yellow Yoshi. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think the, so, so far, like two of the Star Road levels have not had Yoshis in them. They, they have not had their Yoshis. This one should have had a yellow Yoshi right at the beginning that you can pick up and feed the Spinies. And there, I mean, there is also the, the P-Switch. Also, this star ah, does not fall directly on to the Yoshi, which is a little, uh, fortunate. Anyway, we can go back here. And the next level, probably... Uh, this is the last one I'll do for now. Molly! Welcome, Molly. I cannot hurt you. I can't. You are a friend. You are a friend. I can, I can, this guy? No, not friend. Awful. Horrible. Horrible being of, um, lightning menace. I, I can't, I can't hurt them. They're, they're friends. They're, they, I, I do need them. Oh, oh no. Oh no, Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi, please. Yoshi, please! Come back. I need, I can't hurt the bulls. Yoshi, you don't understand. They're friends. They're just, they're just a little overexcited about giving hugs. Can't hurt me. Really. He's such a good, he's such a good little friend. Can't, I can't do it. I can't hurt him. 
can't hurt Molly. No, Molly! No! Yoshi, how could you? I don't know what to do with him, guys. He's out of control. I think we need to put him down. I think I th he's he's aggressive. He has shown uh, displeasure for Molly. I I think we might need to put put him down. He's just an aggressive animal at this point. Such an aggressive dinosaur. Uh, I did, didn't want Molly to get hurt. I tried. I tried. Yoshi had others, other ideas. Uh. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just go up to the other path. Just so I remember what I'm going to be doing. What I'm going to be doing next time. But for now. I do need to go and run some errands that fortunately got pulled in from my original plans. Things just happen. But I will come back not too terribly long from now and can continue playing this. So far, I, it's really good. I, I really like it. The fact that everything is so similar but different it makes you really question like what you remember versus like what you know is wrong. Like there are certain things I can point out and be like, no, this is, this is not right. This is wrong. And other things I look at and go, is that right? Is like, is that how it was? I just don't remember. Anyway, thing jump on over to this screen. Unfortunately, I just don't have time to really continue but it's fun it's fun i'm enjoying this i'm enjoying myself i'm enjoying the game and uh i will be back at some point in within the next week uh continue it for now sign off